Okay, so in this video, I'll just be showing you guys how to like draw a like good attack BFB or, or profile picture, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this first thing you want to do, you want to go to um, just whatever browser you're using, search up fire alpaca. I, no, I didn't spell that right, like, wish it was like that. And just press on the first thing that comes up and now you just press download i've already downloaded it um i mean you can use any program of your choice but i'd recommend fire alpaca because it's got all the right tools you need so what you want to start off is you want to um, press file then press new and then we will like do this but i've already got one up and then it should just have like a page right here now if um if like it's really like kind of wonky and a bit lumpy uh, you just want to fix that by like pressing on stabilizer then picking it to i would do around 50 if you want to just be doing like the regular base so you can put it a bit higher if you want i'm probably actually going to do like 60 and then you want to just kind of zoom out find your right place also when you've when like you do this i recommend putting it 4000 by 4000 just so you've got a higher resolution to start off as uh so yeah and then you could just kind of want to start doing kind of outline kind of like i'm not too good at doing the outlines i've done a couple now if you like mess up like that you can either press that like go back and forward or you can press Control Z. Uh, so I'm just gonna probably speed this part up and put some music in the background while I try and make a good bass. Also, actually, I recommend not doing on 60 and back to 50, like I said. Okay, so I've got a base. This isn't one of the best bases, um, but it, it'll do for now. So next, you just kind of want to do um, like a little kind of face, like you know in Gorilla Tag, you don't just have like, the eyes just like that. It'll kind of look a bit weird. Um, so you you can do a bit of like a curviness at the top and make it. Don't cover the like only cover a bit of the face up it is that can look a bit weird and goofy i'm gonna turn my stabilizer up a bit for this because yeah uh, or you can do just a little one like this i mean or like you can just do a kind of little cylinder and have it in there but i think it's better to do it like this like just start off kind of making the shape uh, so once you've done this um you can start trying to design like um the mouth and like eyes so for the mouth you can like just do kind of something like that um i might actually make it a bit like smaller maybe to about like that maybe um or you can just do something like that it depends what you want really so you kind of wanted to make like someone look a bit nervous or anxious or worried you could kind of do like that actually if i just do it more like could do it kind of like that i've done a lot better before um but yeah i just don't know what that little line is sometimes there's some glitches like on the canvas i'm not sure why but they don't actually affect your drawing okay so that's not the best but that probably should do for now so then you can kind of add like um size of eye you want 
so that could kind of look a bit wally you could do some little eyebrows um but i personally like to make um like pupils a bit bigger because they can kind of look a bit strange if you like have them too small so uh probably a about that could be good also i recommend them kind of touching the edges so it doesn't just kind of look like a random dot so just so you know kind of where the edge of the eyes are uh so yeah i i know it's not the best but you could just do that for the eyes then for the nose you could kind of just so like you kind of just do whatever you want with the nose kind of there's some things i might recommend if you do it too big it kind of looks like you're flaring your nostrils which in my opinion doesn't look the best so if i do it like that then um so once you've done that and you could do a mouth as well but i'm just gonna do that quickly make it more like Okay, so that's probably all I need to do for the mouth. So you want to choose like the colour, like for the actual face, you want to kind of go kind of greyish. Like once you found the right grey, press on the side and you'll find the paint bucket. You could just make that all grey. I feel like that's a bit too dark. Maybe like that. Actually, I've already got a selection here, so I can use this one. Uh, yeah, so I think that's okay. Just trying to find a bit of a better one. So if my voice sounds a bit funny, I think I've got hiccups. Um, so yeah, and it, it kind of looks a bit weird right now because the eyes are grey and there's like just kind of looks a bit boring. So you want to kind of get a bit of um once you've done that, you'll get a bit of a darker grey. I mean if you're wondering how I've got all these like colours saved, uh, you just find the colour you want on there or like um do that thing where you and then just press that and then just press OK. You can name it if you want, but you don't need to. So yeah, um now if you're wondering Oh uh, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh but you kind of wanna make your thing smaller. This is for the nose, like I'm probably gonna do about that. You kinda just wanna do a slightly bit of a curved line. This might look weird at the start, but when it's done it'll look a lot better. Uh, so once you've done that you can make the bottom darker if you want but you don't have to um and then you wanna go like go down here press blur uh, and then just kind of find a good enough size for you like maybe uh, probably about that and then just blur the edges Uh, and yeah, and you can just keep doing that until it's like as blurry as you want. You can just blur the whole thing, but make sure not to go into like other objects like that, otherwise, you don't want like random smudgy looking parts. So, yeah, like that, you could use that for a bit. Um, then go back to pen, just put a tiny bit under whatever you want basically. Now if you're just wondering why it's covering up that, all you need to do is just go to black or whatever colour your mouth and stuff is and just kind of re redraw the part that's been missing or broken or whatever you want to say. Uh, then you go back to blur and blur that just to add a bit of depth kind of just looks a bit more detailed now now, if, now for the eyes like to change the color if you've done eyes like this and it's just kind of open you want to go on to the paintbrush just make your size like very small Look, that's not my size I don't know what I'm doing uh, and go back to pen oh no mind I did that and then just kind of draw a line up there. You will see a bit of a grey line at first, but then you want to go white, then 
got his paint bucket you can fill that up if you want if it kind of like a bit of gray at the edges you can just click it a few more times to make it a bit less gray and there uh, that looks good for that side uh if i go back to here do it again i'm not actually getting these like very even so i'm just gonna redo that okay that should be okay for now uh now if i go paint bucket right there i'm gonna fill it out click it a couple times so yeah i think that looks good for the eyes if you want to kind of make him look a bit tired um and you can just kind of do the same thing with the nose and stuff but i'm not gonna bother right now and i'm gonna carry on with some more stuff so um for the actual outside like i'm you can use any color i'm not sure what color i'm gonna use uh, maybe like this kind of blue i haven't used that kind of blue yet and then like turquoise kind of like blue thing and you can just fill the outside um now we will get to shading soon um so yeah that also with the no shadows you can do one underneath or just do them all underneath if you want but i don't usually do that because it can kind of make them look like a bit of a pig um oh yeah and if you want to add blushing like because it's quite a common cosmetic and gorilla sack then you can just obviously put your size up to like whatever size you want uh for blushing i'll probably do it about that you know probably a bit smaller and you kind of want to not just do like dots i mean you can but i'd recommend doing like that like under both the eye and, it, and then okay i know it looks weird right now we'll go back to blur change the size back obviously uh just Now you could try smudge, I'm not actually too sure what it does, because um, I haven't actually used it yet to be honest. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure if sm smudge is better or what, I'm just not sure. Uh, so you can do that as many times as you want just to go over, over it and stuff, but I'm not actually going to add blushing right now so I'm just going to go back and get rid of that. Um, now. If there's any other things you want to like put in your profile picture that I haven't like said in this video, obviously I'm not done yet. Um, but just to let me know. So then you wanna like if you've lost a colour because you're like done blushing cheeks or something of this colour, just come here, press this, um, click on that, then go back to um, paint bucket. Now press that and then just save that just so you don't have to keep like going back and forth to do this you can just click on that and it'll automatically put it here um so yeah then you want to kind of just make it a bit darker you can just keep on like testing it i know i forgot to go out of oh yeah make sure to go back into pen so it's just it's your choice how dark you do it really obviously because it's your profile picture um i'm probably gonna do it about that i think yeah i think that's good um so you can change the size to whatever you want uh working about this is good so then you kind of you can turn stabilization up or down because it kind of depends you have to kind of get used to it so so i stop and there it kind of when you're doing corners and stuff it might not get exactly what you want but you'll just have to go back and retry it until you get what you want Okay, uh, that's not the best, I'll just, uh, I'm gonna turn my civilization off a bit because I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Also, I'd recommend going like in black line a bit, I, I do mess up quite a lot because obviously I've only just started, I mean, it's not obvious I've only just started, but I mean like I've only just started, so I'm not, I mean no, obviously I'm not gonna be like perfect at it or anything. Especially since I've only just started doing profile pictures. Um, then just ignore if you cover up too much black line. Just ignore that for now. And I will tell you how to sort that out in a minute. Just kind of carry on highlighting everywhere you want to have a shadow. Not highlighting, just like... Keep doing 
doing it. You can make it thicker if you want. It's your choice because it's your profile picture. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you've done that. Yeah, you'll see it. So like a bit wonky. So you just want to go back to just black or whatever the color of your outline is. Um, kind of find the right size that you use for this. You don't have to, but just find one that just you think would look right. Let's say maybe. Hmm, also, I think I've used probably a bit below a hundred, maybe seventy. Yeah, I reckon I've used 70. Um, so, yeah, then you kind of just want to go back. And kind of redraw it a bit. Redraw the back line. You know, I don't know what I'm saying. I know the line does get th a bit thinner, but you can just do whatever you want with that. Okay, I'm almost done. Uh, I'm just gonna change this a bit quickly. Also, yeah, if you want to zoom in, just use your mouse, like, like scroll wheel on your mouse. Uh, that's not very good, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to here and kind of just redo it a bit. Obviously, I'm not doing everything very well, like the bumps and stuff there, but you guys can figure that out because this isn't like a profile picture that I'm gonna be using. Also, if you guys check my Discord in the profile picture section or pfp and that's what it's called then you can use some of the templates in there um i mean that's only if you just want to like change the colors and or just do it if you want with it really but that's that's not for like putting into this i mean you can put it into this but you'll have to figure out everything and stuff so yeah i think you so once you've just kind of added the shading and redone the outline or anything like that you wanted to do you just just you can just do more shading i guess like uh just i think that's about right for my face if i just make it a bit smaller then about that i could just do some of an outline but if you're wondering why i'm going out into the line i'm doing that on purpose it's just a, it looks a bit better And also you don't have to do as much shading so just go back to black or the colour of your outline. I know I'm kind of missing my outline a bit but as I said I'm not like, this isn't just like a proper project, it's just me just doing a little tutorial. So I've seen a lot of videos like just kind of showing not very like cartoony kind of ones. Um, I know mine aren't the best. Um, sorry, I just hit my mic. Uh, I know like mine aren't the best tutorials or anything either. But um, I'm just trying to make it more like kind of cartoony like and the ones that you see on a lot of profile pictures if for any of you that don't know how to do it. So you can blur the outlines if you want. Uh, I'm not going to because I don't really want to and I don't need to. And then yeah, you can kind of just add shading to anywhere you want. This one isn't going to be having a full body in this tutorial. Um, well, I'm sure you guys could work that out yourself. Like a full body, so you kind of you can give it a neck, but I feel like that often looks a bit weird. Uh, so I just kind of do like not very curved. I mean, no, more curved than like kind of just straight like that, because that kind of looks bad so you can just kind of just keep redoing it until you get like how you want and then you can like you want to do this if you're just having the top part just so you can actually fill the place and then 
do this for like the belly kind of part or the chest whatever you want to call it going back to the thing that you're using for the face i'm pretty sure i'm using this one and just fill that you can add shading if you want i'm not going to right now because i don't need to and just fill that oh you can add shading to the shoulders i'm probably actually yeah i'm gonna do that right now um i'm just gonna get the right color then we'll go back to paint or like draw whatever the tool's called uh, i'm not gonna bother too much with like recorrecting the lines here because i don't really need to so yeah i'm just gonna Okay, that kind of looks a bit bad. Okay, I'm just going to turn my stabilizer up to like 90. Okay, so I haven't been speaking much. Just kind of focusing. So yeah, you can do that to about there. Don't worry about the line at the bottom because you probably won't be showing all of this. I mean, you can if you want, but it'll kind of look like your body's just cut in half. Um, so yeah, you can carry on shading it. See, like, that's a bit of a glitch like i said earlier so yeah that's probably it for today um if you want to export it or like save it in the actual program you go to file um do export first so you don't lose the actual image uh, and then i'm just going to put it on my desktop you guys can put it wherever you want um but yeah here's some of the other ones i've drawn uh i'm just gonna name it Tutorial. I spelt that completely wrong. I don't think I spelt it wrong. I just tutorial PFP. Uh, now, so I've clicked export. There, I don't know what I'm saying. Then yeah, you can just save that in wherever you want to save it. Um, I'm just gonna save it in my desktop. Then save now it should be there now file um save and put it whatever you want uh, i'm just gonna name it tutorial p fp and then this is like its own like type of file um file packer just so you can open it again in case you want to edit anything in the photo save that wherever you want to save it and um, then you're kind of done you can add cosmetics and stuff if you want um and i'm just giving one tip about cosmetics try to add shading because sometimes it can like just not really go with the character um but yeah that's probably it for today um if you guys have got any other like suggestions of videos or tutorials just let me know in the comments um which, i mean i was gonna say make sure to subscribe you don't have to but i i want to get to a thousand because we are so close we're only like i'm not sure like 18 subscribers away from getting to a thousand uh, so that would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe because it was literally one less subscriber away every time uh, i don't even know if i said that right but yeah that's probably it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one